Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20, and we're back with more Keeper RL, Alpha 13 version. We're back in the thick of it again. We're gonna try starting over and not getting murdered. Aw, I, I wonder what's, what causes that crash sometimes. Hmm. Reloaded, let's see if it works out this time. Go. No, oh, crash that time. How about this time? There we go, this time it worked. Weird how it seems to crash somewhat often when we load up a new map. Wonder if there's something in the generation code that sometimes hits a bug. I don't know. I didn't make it. It's coded in C++ and I suck at C++, so I'm not even really gonna fuss with it all that much. I've taken a look at the code, but a lot of it is beyond me. And by a lot, I'd be like 99%. So we're going to explore around and see what we can see. Find what we can find. There's the edge of the map over here. We could have a nice little safe fort over here, but there are no resources. So we would have to get all of our resources out elsewhere, which isn't the worst scenario. But with how hard we've been getting hit and how quickly we've been getting hit, I want to get my resources while digging out my dungeon. I think what we're going to be doing vastly differently this time that we've been doing that we haven't been doing in the previous couple episodes is building a dormitory much earlier. I like to wait on the dormitory because that's what gives starts to give you creatures that are going to cost money, and I don't like to spend all that much money. So we got a cyclops and a dragon over here, and what's this? If this is gnomes. I'm just murdering them because why not? I'm here. Oh hey, it's gnomes. Hi gnomes. Hi gnomes. Well, this keeper is going to beat you to death with his fisticuffs. Come over here, and I thought that you would have had a sword. You didn't. That's some money. Um, you know, you can kind of punch me if you want, gnome. I thought that one of these chests might have a weapon. It didn't. Neither did you. That's cool. Potion of slowness. So though there's no code for taking over a lot of the stuff in here, I might just take over this these guys' place again, unless this leads to somewhere deep and scary like uh, dwarfs. In which case, I'm not going to mess with this uh, way at all. Let's check out this way, though. Last time we started exploring caves, we got pretty lucky with just getting some units, so I'm hoping that the same might happen. I'll take a quick look out, and uh, yep, yep, two of my imps have died. That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't think it really matters because I think the first couple imps that you purchase are free. And there's more gnomes back here, so I'll, I'll kill him. He's going to try to run away, but it's not going to work out for him because I know that there's eventually going to be an end to the cave. I thought that one of these gnomes would have some sort of weapon. Uh, oops, I hit a wrong button. Good to know. I'm using the numpad for movement, and it's good to know that the 5 acts as... Enter. Ooh, rats. Swimming magical rats. They're not really magical. Rats can actually swim. But it's still, I don't like it. All of my imps are dead. But as you notice, it's zero mana cost to make a new imp, so that's not really a big deal. Um, I don't know why I quit out of the keeper, because I wanted to control him and equip this knife that I guess he already equipped. Never mind. Excellent. Well, the keeper's level 7, so that's some progress already. We do not want to uh, build our fort back here because of the proximity to the dwarfs. But we got our keeper a couple levels, probably some ex or some mana, and oh, there's more gnomes to be killed. Excellent, excellent. I have this knife, and I'm just stabbing them in the eye and all over the place. Super good, super excellent. C come here. You killed all my imps? It was you, Gnome? You don't get to survive this. Hey, am I injured? That's not cool. I'll have to heal up. And then continue chasing you down. Where are you going? Where are you going? There are bandits over here, too. Okay, we found the bandit hole. Um, don't think I want to be fighting the bandit hole with just my keeper and no spells and a knife. Does not seem like the thing I want to do. Second dragon. Where are you, dragon? Can I sneak in there and take one of these swords without you noticing? Maybe. Ha <laughs> ha! I can! Run away! This is my magical sword now, dragon! You are a fool! Away into the forest. 
<laughs> that dragon. I don't know if there's any sort of code like it's gonna come after me forever because I took this sword, but I'm it's my sword now. Screw you, dragon. <laughs> Oh, let's equip the sword. I want it. I want it bad. The flaming sword named Klaharg. Nine damage, boy accuracy, and of course being flaming. You know, this is kind of fun. I don't necessarily, if I don't have a home, how are they going to find me? I think I'm doing a pretty alright job just going around and murdering all of the weakest of enemies. So I might continue to do that. And already I get advanced alchemy for my efforts. This might not be the worst way to handle going about this. Screw the dormitory, I'm going to be a nomad keeper. My dungeon is on the go. Maybe I'll investigate that idea I had earlier about just dropping little dungeons everywhere for things. You know, I don't know if that's going to work out really, but probably not. I can imagine a hundred things that could go wrong with that. Maybe not a hundred, but a lot, a lot of things that could go wrong with that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not going to do it. I mean, it could be hilarious the way that things go wrong. But I imagine that there's no such uh, precedence for being like, all right, well, you're going to be in Dungeon A, so you only use the facilities in Dungeon A, and you're going to be in Dungeon B, so use the Dungeon B facilities. Pretty sure people will be jumping around to wherever the hell they want to go. Okay, so I find the river, or a river, I should say. I don't know if that dragon's chasing me anymore. I haven't seen it. I don't think it is. And there's the way to cross the river. How much of this map have I explored? Probably don't want to explore too much of that. There's plenty of mountain up here. Which means there might not be mountain over here, but if there is mountain over here, that would be super cool. Otherwise, I think ultimately I'm probably just going to have to go back up to my starting area and it seems like they started me in a pretty alright location. <laughs> And I'm a little worried about building out a dungeon at this point because so much time has passed that they're going to send people looking for me. I know it. Okay, this field makes me want to kind of investigate this because I feel like it's probably just going to be a town of innocent little peasants that I can destroy with my flaming sword. The cut is harmless. How does that happen? It is a flaming sword. That's right, the cut destroys his leg and life and limb. Oh, hit the wrong button. You're not going to get away. Oh, this farmer thinks he can stop me, but he's burnt by fire. And then murdered. Oh, this vulture thinks that it's going to land right next to me and be okay. Nothing survives the wrath of the keeper. Nothing. Although I don't really know what I'm keeping much at this point. I'm kind of just running around being a murderer. But... You got to do what you got to do. Ooh, a Warhammer. That's oddly, in a lot of ways, better than my Flaming Sword. But I'm going to stick with my Flaming Sword. Ooh, rats. Kill the rats. I don't know if rats actually give experience. I'd like to think that they do. What is this vulture doing coming at me? Why are these vultures coming at me? I'm not even sure if I really understand the point of the vultures in the first place, actually. Why are there vultures in this game? Aesthetic? I don't know. I feel like there could be a use for the vultures, maybe some sort of mind control spell that the keeper could use to make the vultures be his buds. Yeah, you can keep running all you want, little peasant. Maybe you are faster than me. And you do have plenty of trees to hide in. Maybe you will make it. Maybe you will. Maybe it was a mistake to ever let you out of my sight and run by me. Or maybe you're going to slip up and get cornered at the river. Or not. Maybe I'm just going to chase you indefinitely. This is ridiculous. Please! Please, you got to help me! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so he ran into here. I'm pretty sure one of these guys... Oh, it was a child! That's why I was running so fiercely. Well, kill children for experience. I've become level 9 because of my massive slaughtering of animals and peasants. As well as I've gotten a bunch of ex loot. And wasted a bunch of time. <laughs> I'm a little worried. I don't know exactly how the mechanics of the game work. I understand that some of the attacks are based on your population of your dungeon. But I think some of the attacks are also based on time. 
I just I hit the wrong button because I wanted to equip that helmet that I never got around to equipping, and that's it. That's the only thing that I really got that I want to equip because I want to keep this flaming sword instead of bothering with that war axe. All right, so I pretty much. I mean, is there a house here? No. Is there anything down here? No. Yeah, my keeper the nomad. Kinda a rage mushroom. I could use a rage mushroom, I guess. I really want is a strength mushroom. Magic mushrooms are kind of fun, but they don't increase your magic like you would hope. Strength mushrooms increase your strength, like you would hope. But magic mushrooms just make you high. That's it. Oh, fine. Yeah, I can't. Whoa, that is a room full of poison. All right, well, I can't just tease you that magic mushrooms make you high and then not eat one. So, look at that. All of the trees are now skeletons. I am tripping hard. Bodies are, or these bodies are scrolls. So being high changes a lot of the sprites. And now I'm this weird, like, undead keeper thing. That's kind of cool. Now it doesn't last too long, so that's why I did it. Because it doesn't last too long. It's kind of fun. And it may or may not trip up enemies when you throw it at them and cause them to get high. I don't know. Seems like a thing that would happen, but I don't know. I don't want to deal with that place, because that place is going to be big and scary. I do want to advance with some caution, as the unknown could contain many of things that could murder me. However, I'm a level 9 keeper, and one day I've gained 4 levels, magical weaponry that I stole from a dragon, and massacred a town. All in all, I think it's been a pretty good day for a keeper. My keeper, the Nomad. Alright, this field of wheat doesn't necessarily denote a town, but I've found that usually a wheat field means that there are going to be some peasants around. Ooh, dexterity mushroom. Come in handy in the future. What's this? Some hill? Okay. And look like a whoa! Yeah, I want no parts of these lizard men. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Want no parts of this castle? Not anytime soon. And the question is: Is this a peasant town? A peasant house? Or an elf house? It's an empty house with rats. Rats with high dexterity and dodge and that I don't care to chase down because they're rats. I'm going to get that sword. Some first aid. Money. And then I'm just going to walk on the road like a badass like it doesn't even matter. Like it doesn't even matter. Because it doesn't. Hey, peasant lady. We're going to have so much mana when I actually do build a dungeon. I wonder if I broke the game by not building a dungeon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this seems incredibly easy. I seem very in control. I'm waiting for something to attack me, like bandits are attacking and they just find me in the field. Which, w with how strong I'm getting right now, I don't know if that's something that would even be a problem. I might just be able to handle it. Okay, now this building looks a little bigger, so I'm a little more worried that this is elves than... Oh no, it's warriors. Get out of here. Run away from the warriors. I thought it was going to be elves, but it was just warriors. But it's nighttime, so I just popped my head in and got out. You know what, I'll murder whoever lives in this hut over here. Unless it's... No, it's just a peasant. Haha! -ha! Murdering peasants. Ooh, horses. I can murder horses. Eh, I'll murder horses later. There are peasants in here. And a horse. The horse knows what's up. He's like, I'm gonna get away. You ain't getting away, horse. You get to die. You too, horse. You're worth too much experience. See? I went from 9 to 10 by chopping off your head, horse. It was way worth chasing you down. Way worth it. What do we got in here? Potions? I'm gonna have to be sure to use the right potions in the right situations. Sword, rats, 
I'm not gonna bother with any of the rats because it's starting to get miasma in here. Open this chest. It's also full of rats. Why are all of these chests full of rats? Alright, well I got wounded by from presumably the miasma because I can't imagine anything in there actually did damage to me. Rage. I'll grab the rage mushrooms. Um, yeah, let's check out this blackness. What do we have over here? Is there going to be more houses for me to raid? No, another rage mushroom for me to find. But I want more houses. The nomad life is treating me well. This is how you're supposed to play adventure. Aha, here we go. I am under attack by a bunch of humans. Whoa! You swing your flaming sword, the warrior is wounded, the tree catches fire. I am super under attack by a bunch of humans. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to walk away from this. So, I'm going to have to... Drink my potion of speed. Speed, not sleep. Speed. Apply this. Now with my speed bonus, I think I want some insects. I do want insects. And with all that, I just need to be very, very careful Whoosh. not to get murdered. Okay, take a step back. I don't need to heal. But what I could do... Let's throw one of these potions to sleep. Potion of sleep. Throw. That sucker. He's a sucker. Is he asleep? I think he's asleep. There we go. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Start looting shit. Equip this uh, armor. It's, it's way better than this stupid robe I got. Leather armor. Better than stupid robe. The fly corpse. Fly corpse. There are other humans trying to get me? You're trying to get me? Get out of here. Oh, more than one trying to get me could be a problem. Okay. Well, there is just use. I'm going to actually throw my knife at you. Just one of them. So I think I can get you. Nope, the knife hits the tree. Well, that's a bummer. All right, well, then I'm going to step back and allow maybe, yeah, you to get a little more in range. I'm going to try this knife plan again. Yeah. The knife misses the warrior. Alright, well, how about I throw this sword? I don't need this sword. Gaga! You throw the sword, the sword hits the warrior, but the cut is harmless. I'm moving slowly again. That's a bummer. Okay, well, what if I make this guy blind? Throw! Misses, misses the warrior, but hits back here. That's a bummer. That's a major bummer. Um. What if I hit him with a magic mushroom? Throw! Yeah, there's the magic mushroom. The magic mushroom misses the warrior. These fires are helping out a lot. I'm gonna keep throwing swords because I don't I don't give a shit about swords. Another a warrior died of bleeding. I'm getting experience from this battle. Okay, so they do try to come out and find me if it's a problem. Get out of here with all this. There's so many warriors. This is probably because I peeked my head in there. They were not happy about any of that. All right. I just gotta play it smart. I got enough loot to make all this happen. Potion of slowness. Throw. You're gonna be slow. Missed. Crashed on the tree. Alright, we'll get him. Swing the flaming sword. Warrior's wounded. Warrior's burnt by fire. Vulture lands. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing about me getting hurt. I'm okay. I'm wounded. I cannot handle being wounded. I have to heal up. I'm wounded again. Shoot. Okay, with my secondary wounding. I'm going to throw this potion of sleep at you. Potion of sleep crashes. Harmless. Dude falls asleep. I can't heal up, so I'm going to have to apply this. It's going to take three turns. That's fine. He's going to be asleep for long enough. I heal up. Now I try to kill him in his sleep, and I do so. Take his gold. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really want to take... Maybe. I don't know. I'll take all this junk until I run out of room. Take stuff, and then I'll start making the decisions of what to leave behind. 
my fire sword has proved to be pretty helpful because it started setting this uh, forest on fire, which helped me out quite a bit. So I'm glad I went with that instead of the Warhammer. Okay. Well, with all that said and done, that was a pretty exciting battle, I think. Now I am going to go see what's left of their forces, because I feel like I just killed a bunch, and it might be in my best interest to just walk in and uh, finish up what I started. I don't know. What's going on here? Too many warriors. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You want to chase me? You want to chase me, warrior? You want to chase me? This is how it's going to be? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going... I don't even think I need any of these. Worried about using that and losing control, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just throw some clubs. Hey. Boom. Hey. Hey. Club misses him. Well, then I'm going to cut you with this sword. You should never have come out here alone. You were a fool. A foolish fool. Alright, well... Starting to get a lot of loot. Might need to find somewhere to stash it soon. Magic Mushroom didn't seem to work out throwing at an enemy. There's not really a benefit to eating them other than the wolves. So I think I'm going to leave those behind now that we're getting a little more serious. I have gotten my Keeper to be much stronger though, level 17. Now all I just need to, is to get some spells in his arsenal, and he will be set. Where have we explored over here? All right, I think we're going to explore over here, and then my era of the Nomad will end, but I think it's going to have to end next episode. Because regardless of whether I find something in this area over here to do this episode or not this episode, starting to get long so next episode unless I die in some horrible tragedy while exploring out here we oh finally strength mushroom we will build a dungeon and we'll be building our dungeon up here and it's gonna be super cool maybe we'll get a dormitory pretty early I can't see why not I got a fat sack of money on me already yeah there doesn't appear to be shit up here this seems like the safety safe zone. All that there appears to be up here is resources. Resources, plenty of trees. Plenty of trees. Alright. Take that rage mushroom. That area still needs exploring. Oh, also this area kinda. That's not too concerning nothing in that cluster right yeah so I'm going to build out my dungeon whoa and now I can do that I'm gonna build out my dungeon up here clear out some of these resources and I'm gonna end this episode after I designate all this so one moment Bing! all right got everything designated and we will start out next episode once my imps have all of this dug out and we'll set it up and everything and real quick we'll set them to go cut down some trees while they're doing stuff too Cause a couple of my imps don't have shit to do hey 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 one moment what are you doing control pick up that flaming sword what do you think you're doing you equip that flaming sword it's your flaming sword Where'd that armor go? You had armor. Did you drop that too? Why? Why are you dropping armors, man? I don't understand why you're dropping it. most of this stuff. Okay, maybe not most of it. I'd like you to hold on to that potion, please. And, uh... As far as equipping an armor goes, let's equip that one. Yeah. Now go, do what you want. Listen to me. It's your sword. You keep it, keeper. I'm super upset with you if I see you not having that sword. Shh. 
you equip that sword. I don't care what you think is best. You equip that sword. It saved your life. Anyway, we'll end here and save the game. Make sure it doesn't crash in the save. Make sure episode next is going to happen with this. And hooray, we didn't die. The era of Nomad was very successful. Maybe too successful. Maybe so there should be something to stop me from doing that. Anyway, you've been with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. And we will be back later with more Keeper RL Alpha 13. And I look forward to playing more of it with you guys. See ya.